have first on the map and uh, tell you who they are and what they represent. And here we go, right on cue, Bishop Secondary. Not many well-known players, but Christian McKenney will act in goal for them. They will be certainly aiming on, depending on Malik Wilson and Khalil Lewis, who will be charged with getting the goals for them, while Richard Goddard, a former national goalkeeper, will be on the bench. Well, when we look at the team formation, expect Arthur to shield the back four. Wilson, already with two goals so far this season, will be looked to towards the man to get the goals for Bishops High School. Well, the boys in green from Boog Malachis, San Juan secondary, top of the table, 18 goals they've scored, and it's primarily due to this trio. JDL Joseph, who is the right winger, Jaheem Dancler, who's netted five already for the season. Nathan Kwashi, the top scorer with eight, with six goals this far. And of course, look at that number 10, Lindell Sween, certainly one of the players of the tournament so far. Well, when you look at their formation, Kwashi, as mentioned, slotting back into the middle of the park. Of course, Lewis, the captain, back fit. And Sween, the ever-present, of course, always a goal-scoring threat for San Juan North Secondary. Salt Bay, if you will. And then later on, Everybody was trying, his confidence was high, but McKechnie was not about having it until this happened. And you felt that Dan Clare should have hit the target. And when you thought that the game was going to end like that, comes the magician. A second, Lindell Sween. And that was 4 0 to San Juan. After that, it was more from Sween, and that was his hat trick. Look at this one finish. Top quality stuff for Sween, taking him to eight goals. And then Joseph wanted to get in on the action, and he certainly did in the end. Goal number six for San Juan. And that was what the final script would say San Juan six. Bishop High School nil. Let's see what the numbers tell us about this match. And look at that, 21 shots. More than half of those on target for San Juan. In terms of shots, uh, well, Bishop High, they've not done well in terms of that. When we come down to corners, a, little, a bit more even. Eight to San Juan, five to Bishop High. And possession rather even out at the end of the match. 53 to San Juan, to San Juan's 47. 6 0, the final score. Well, we saw all of the scintillating action. It's time to talk to our man of the match, and it's the hat-trick scorer, Lindell Sween. Thank you very much, James. I'm now joined by the NGC man of the match, Lindell Sween. Lindell, congratulations, a hat-trick today. Your assessment on your performance? Well, I want to thank God for my performance today. I hope that I could continue getting man of the matches, and I want to keep my game consistent. Keep on doing what I'm doing, right? You. And yeah, that is all. Well, of course, three goals. You must have a favourite. Which one is the pick of the litter? I think the first one is my favourite. When I take it and drive it in. Well, we had a look of the first one. We also saw the other two. Congratulations. You are the NGC man of the match. Yes, Thank you very much, Lyndall Sween. Of course, the man of the match for this fixture here. I'm now joined by the coaches. Of course, Coach Goddard, first and foremost. Coach, uh, disappointed result at the end of the day. Your assessment of the 90 minutes plus? Um, you know, there, there's some basic errors that you really and truly don't do. You must track your players, you know, can't hold on to the ball too long. San Juan North is, is definitely one of the top teams in, in the competition. And, uh, you know, if you, if you create these errors for yourselves, a team like San Juan North will pick you apart and that's pretty much what happened today. You know, they, they played well, they did exactly what they were supposed to do and uh, we got punched for it. Well, moving ahead, of course, we're close to the halfway point of the season. You did say staying in this, this division, it's important to you. How do you pick the boys up? Well, you know, we have to, we have to battle for, for our points. There's, there's no question about it. You know, we have to look at which opponents we have and see how best we could actually, you know, target those opponents. And, um, you know, some more scouting, we, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's an entire package. It's something that, you know, Bishop's High School is learning again at this point in time. Uh, you know, we're one, one win more than we did the last time, but one win doesn't necessarily cut it. We need to be able to grind out some results. And uh, I think uh, as this season goes on, 
we're going to have to understand that grinding is pretty much what hap needs to happen. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank All you. the best. Yeah, thank you. Of course, uh, Coach Mo, good results, big score line. Impressed? I think it was a game of two halves. You know, first half, we had a lot of chances, which we didn't take. And second half, we scored with chances, and that was the difference in the game, you know. Um, Bishop's trying to put the ball long and play, so they have a philosophy, which is good, you know. But um, credit to my team, we didn't let the first half get us down, and we did a lot better second half. What was the adjustment you made? You talked about the tail of two halves. What was the adjustment you made going into the second half? I mean, the boys just need a little kick up their pants, you know, sometimes. Because we're on top of the table right now, I told them you have to cry more and laugh less, you know, and stay focused on the job and be hungry still. So I think first half, we just thought we just need to show up and we'll win the game. And the guy was a little bit too greedy, you know, in trying to score our first goal, you know. But after we scored, I think we settled along a little bit. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best to you in the You're rest welcome. of the season. Well, for our next broadcast, of course, uh, coming up on uh, the...